In today's tutorial, you'll learn how to use the Simply Static plugin for WordPress to convert a WordPress website into a static website. So we're going to take this WordPress website, convert it into a static website and host it on our production domain. I'm going to use Cloudflare Pages to host the website, but there's many other options as well. Cloudflare Pages will let you host a large number of websites for free if you convert them to static. So there's lots of performance, security, and obviously cost benefits to doing this. There's also some disadvantages as well, but I'll walk you through the complete process. But before we get started, let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of static websites. So a static website generator just takes your content and converts it into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you can host that in lots of different places for very low cost or even free in the example that we're gonna to show today. There's no database and there's no PHP that you have with WordPress. So you lose a lot of the functionality that WordPress has, but you obviously reduce the cost of hosting and you reduce the maintenance updates. Um, a lot of the security issues that you have with a database or with running PHP on a web server, those issues disappear. So you get uh, excellent performance because you don't need a powerful server to run this. You can run this just on a CDN like we're gonna do today on Cloudflare and you've got excellent security. And obviously you don't need to run your updates on your WordPress or your plugins or your themes. So lots of good benefits. Now the cons, obviously you've lost all your don dynamic WordPress features. So if you wanna have dynamic features, you need to connect them to an external service like um, forms and e-commerce, you need like a form service like Google Forms or JotForm and e-commerce, something like Snipcart or Square or PayPal buttons, those kind of things can be used to replace um, something like WooCommerce in a lot of situations. So um, it can create issues where you need dynamic content, but for a lot of simple brochure or informational portfolio type websites, uh, a static website will do just as well as a WordPress website. And the other main con is it's inconvenient to edit a static site after deployment. So after you've generated the site, uploaded it, uh, it's very hard to edit it compared to editing in WordPress. Uh, the pro version of the static, Simply Static plugin does improve that somewhat, but again, um, you're never gonna have the same uh, ease of use that you have editing content through your WordPress backend directly. And the main drawback, like I said earlier, is there's no dynamic content. You'll have to find another way of adding things like forms or e-commerce. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, but um, just to point you in the right direction, forms like Google Forms, uh, Microsoft Forms, Drop Form, Type Form, Zoho Forms, these are ways you can just embed um, some forms onto the site without needing WordPress. Similarly with e-commerce, uh, your Equid, Snipcart, Payhip, uh, just PayPal buttons or Stripe checkouts. I've done a few of these on the channel as well. I'll put links in the description to where I've shown how to do some of these already. So this tutorial consists of two basic steps. First, we have a development WordPress site. You can do this however you want. In my case, I'm gonna use a test subdomain on a domain I already have set up, uh, but you can use a staging site. You can even do this locally from your own hard drive using something like local WP, Lando or Laragon is really good. Um, I've tried these and you can run these for free and you don't need any web hosting. You can generate your sites on your own computer and then deploy them to the static host. That is step two. There's lots of places where you can deploy a static website. Today, we're gonna to use Cloudflare pages, but there's GitHub pages, Netlify, Vercel, um, AWS, DigitalOcean Spaces, Bunny is a really fast, cheap one. And you can SFTP the data into basically any web server. But a lot of these offer very nice free tiers or very low cost pro tiers. So um, this one is what we're gonna use for free today. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step example of how to create a static website from a WordPress site. You'll need a WordPress website to start with, obviously. So I've got this one here. This is just an Astra starter template created with an Elementor template. Um, this was free, came with Astra. If you go and install Astra, you'll get starter templates there. Really straightforward to set something like this up. I'm hosting this myself over on testalexspot.com, but you can host this pretty much any uh, anywhere you like using a staging site, a temporary subdomain like I'm using here, or even a local uh, WordPress site using on your local computer using some software like local WP or Lando.dev or even Laragon.org is one I like to set up uh, WordPress websites on your own hard drive on your own computer. So you don't even need web hosting if you use something like this. But for this example, I'm using this um, subdomain. 
And once you've got your WordPress website ready to export, you'll need the plugin. So that is called Simply Static. You can get that from your WordPress plugin repository under plugins, add new plugins. If you search for static, you'll find it pretty quickly. You want to install and activate that one. Once you've done that, you'll get the option to use the plugin here in your WordPress dashboard. So let's check that out. Generally, the default settings are all good. You can just go ahead and click generate static files. You can check out some of the settings under the general settings here. Uh, usually this relative path option is the most versatile option for generating most uh, static websites, but there's a few other choices there, but I'm gonna use the default relative path. That's gonna work really well. And let's go ahead, let's back to our log and let's hit uh, generate static files. This will have a nice little log of the progress as it generates the site, depending on how big the site is, we'll determine how long this will take. This will probably take a couple of minutes. This is a fairly small uh, Elementor template website. So let's just let this do its thing. After a few minutes that will be finished, you can go ahead and download your zip file here. I've now got the Simply Static zip file in our downloads folder here. This is our website zipped up into a single file here. Okay, now we have our website zipped up. I'm gonna upload it to Cloudflare Pages for this example. There's lots of other ways to host a static website. This is an easy and free option. Um, if you don't have a Cloudflare account, head over to cloudflare.com and sign up. I'm gonna to head to my dashboard here and you'll find your workers and pages in the menu there. And we want to use a page. So pages is the sub menu there. And then we have to upload our zip file using this tool here. So we need to give this a name. I'm gonna call this Earth Test and create the project. And here we just upload our zip file. So I can just upload that one from my downloads folder there and let it do its thing. And that didn't take long. We've got our success message here. Scroll down, we can deploy this site. And there we go, we've got success. Your site was built and deployed to Earth Test Pages Dev. We can click that and there we've got our page here running on Cloudflare Pages. So we don't even need web hosting, as we can see here, this will run nice and quick on Cloudflare's own Cloudflare Pages for free. Now, obviously you wanna change this to a custom domain if you wanna use this for anything in production. So we can do that quite easily as well. Head back to our Cloudflare dashboard here and let's head back to the project there. As we can see, we've got custom domains here on the menu and we can set up a custom domain for our site. Now I've already added a domain onto my Cloudflare account called Ideaspot Online. You can just do that quite easily by adding a site like that. Um, I'll I have already made a video doing this, so I can link that in the description as well if you want to see exactly how that's done. But I'm going to use Ideaspot Online to uh, host this and all we have to do is click activate the domain. And now it's initializing and there it says verifying. We can complete the DNS setup here. And then a minute or two later, it will automatically change to active. So that looks all good. Again, link in the description if you've never added a domain to Cloudflare. That only takes five minutes and I've done a video previously as well. So I'll put that in the description for you guys who haven't tried it before. And now if I head to Ideaspot Online, we can actually see our website here running through Cloudflare pages. Uh, all good. So pretty nice. One nice little side effect of doing this is I actually got a little performance boost from moving from the WordPress version with 79 in page speed to a 92 with the static version. So in a lot of cases, the static version is gonna run better than the WordPress version. Also just check that everything has converted over properly, check the responsiveness, see if it's uh, responding well to different resolutions, check all your links and layout looks right, but this looks really good. This is an Elementor site, so it works with Elementor blocks. I've tried with Gutenberg blocks as well, and it's been working fine. So uh, WordPress to static uh, using simply static plugin is uh, a nice way of generating a static site from WordPress. All right, so that wraps up our Simply Static WordPress static site tutorial. So this is an excellent solution that will give you um, zero cost, high performance web hosting. This is really well suited to basic pages that don't need a lot of dynamic content, things like brochures, local business websites, portfolio websites. Uh, having a static version of those sites is a good low maintenance, low cost way of doing things. And obviously there's solutions if you wanna add dynamic content and that's possible as well. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.